Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for, well, around the 14th. You know, the timing is fluid. Yesterday I said, you know, it could be a month, and I had somebody comment, a month? Yeah, there's a such thing as divine timing. So what do we have? I mean, this could be tomorrow. It depends on your readiness. It depends on free will. It depends on where you are at in your journey. I get comments from people that say a reading that I did six months ago resonates now. Because we're all at different spots. But then we get these closed-minded individuals that want to know right now. What is going to happen right now? Is that even realistic? So anyway, this is for around the 14th. That's what I'm intending this reading to be. But for me, and for the most of my watchers, what I get is that happens within the week. That's usually what I hear in the comments, and I've heard feedback. From the feedback I've heard, and read mostly the majority these readings play out within the week I have heard somebody say a month more than once and I've even had people say six months ago so hey use your common sense and you know whatever what do we got what do we have for around the 14th Two of Cups reversed. Page of Wands reversed. And the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Now don't say my deck is upside down. My deck is not upside down. Your thinking might be. But my deck isn't. There's an absence of success here in a partnership. It's probably not good news. It's going in the wrong direction. There's some reckless behavior. Somebody is very egotistical, very boastful, uh, clinging to control. We have somebody here that is very, very controlling, likes to be in control, is resisting change. Um, therefore, they're having a setback. This is bad luck. So they're going to be facing a setback because of their inability to follow through. Uh, yeah, with a partnership. There could be a split. There could be a breakup here. This could be a horrendous loss. We have somebody here that has a lot of pride. This, this, uh... Uh, I would say that this is a knight of wands. It could be a page of wands. It looks like it's it could be a knight, but I think it's a page. But it doesn't really matter. The, the fact of the matter is, is that there is somebody that has been moving too fast. They're a show-off. They're boasting. They're loud. They're a troublemaker. They don't follow through. They really don't like responsibility. Uh, they don't take responsibility. They don't like to be held accountable for anything. This person uh, moves way too fast. Uh likes adventure and sometimes acts impulsively so we have somebody here that um, is probably going to be facing some sort of unpredictable setback because of their impulsive nature some they may have even said something stupid that gets them in trouble they said something without thinking it could be that little you know you say something stupid and other people are listening and it could get you in trouble so interesting um Now, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is is a delay. Something not working out. It's a fall from grace. And this one is a fall from grace as well. This is bad luck. This could also be the past coming back to haunt you. Somebody just keeps repeating their mistakes. Hmm. We have somebody here that's unreliable. Ten of Wands. Now the Ten of Wands reversed is making a conscious change. Dropping something.
freeing yourself. Somebody is, is freeing themselves from some sort of partnership that is very negative. Whoever they're dealing with is negative. They're, they have a negative attitude. They're very pessimistic. Uh, they're mean-spirited. You know, they don't have anything good to say. So it's like, I don't even want to deal with you. That kind of thing. Nine of Cups. So we definitely have somebody here that has a big ego. This person uh, is, I mean, has it all, right? Very egotistical, very arrogant. We have somebody here that is very arrogant. This person feels like they can have whatever they want. I don't need to deal with this. I don't need this. I'm, I don't need to. Yeah. We have somebody here that's just like, I don't I don't need to deal with your drama. It feels like this is very dramatic. Um, oh. Two of Wands. It's like they've gotten their answer. They know what they need to do. So somebody has gotten their answer. Now it's time. It's time to drop this weight. It's time to drop this burden. It's time to drop this baggage. They know goodbye you notice bye is visible so it's like goodbye goodbye it's like the decision is being made you notice that is being it's still it's visible so hmm. somebody is making a decision that it's like i don't need the drama it feels like it's very dramatic that's what it is i don't need this clarify this wheel of fortune reverse now this is right around the corner okay this is coming it hasn't happened yet something is not working out a relationship so we have a relationship that is coming to an end and you guys don't have to like me okay this is the it's the truth this is a relationship that is not working out. It wasn't meant to be. Maybe, you know, it looked good for a while and it worked out for a while, but it's, it's come to the end. It's the end of the season. It's the end of this situation. Now we have 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, completion, completion, completion. The time has come. This is the moment of decision. So the decision is being made and it has to do with, and maybe it's, uh, you know, about, I have everything I need. I don't, and, and maybe, you know, we all have an ego for a reason, right? You know, I, I have everything I need. I really don't need to uh, be engaged with this relationship that isn't on the same page, obviously. There's argument. There's argument, arguing. There's a disconnection. Um, somebody is, is it's just like they're not well suited. We're just not well suited for each other. It's just not meant to be. I feel like I feel like that's what this is. It's like somebody has gotten the answer that they need. And this and now it's like it's time to celebrate because you know she's cracking some champagne. It's like phew. And this is freedom. So somebody may be celebrating their freedom from this partnership, okay? That's the two of cups reverse. So that somebody could be celebrating their freedom. Um So yeah. This is just not well suited. This is like this isn't this is just too negative for me. It's a very negative energy, and this is, I've been carrying it for too long. It's like, now I know what i got to do. I've gotten my answer. It's, you know, this is not meant to be. There is some sort of marriage or commitment or something like that, and there's a higher, empower, a higher power involved here. So there, there is, okay? So this is like God or a higher power that it, and this is a blessing you notice this person's blessing and it may have to do with the last rites this may be the last rites you look like this person seems to be in bed okay and what is what is this it's when somebody comes to the hospital or the priest and gives the last rites i mean i don't know how that plays part of this but i mean that's kind of what it looks like huh but anyway it's a blessing this is a blessing there's some sort of blessing being blessed forgiven you know um somebody is becoming independent this is independent uh, independent strong 
self-sufficient, uh, doesn't need, I don't need, I don't need anybody. So I think we do have somebody that, we have a relationship with that is, we have a split, okay? There is a split. There is, and I know yesterday it was all about, I think it was all about love, I can't remember. But there is a, there is a split in this reading. We have, or, you know, well, let's keep going. I'm going to put it right here. We could have this independent person that is getting into a new relationship after a horrendous loss but this is right around the corner so i think right around the corner we have a relationship that is coming or marriage commitment or something that is coming to an end somebody is going their own way this is somebody who is very capable of taking care of themselves it's like i don't need a relationship and they're being divinely guided they're being divinely guided to do so <laughs> it's uh a little bit scary, I think. I think it is. I think we have somebody here that has been... Maybe they've been made a poor choice. And, you know, you think about roses. Roses are about love. Uh, pentacles are about money. They may have, you know, chosen to get into a relationship for the money. You know, for the stability of it. But, you know, now it's, it's not love. It doesn't look like it's love to me. I feel like we have somebody here that is about to make a decision, obviously. We do have the moment of decision here. They're going to make a decision to uh, focus on themselves, focus on their value, to invest in something else, go someplace else, move, relocate. There is some sort of relocation here. I think somebody has gotten cut or they've gotten burned, you know, and they've come to the realization that they'd be better off on their own. It's like you don't complete me. You're just we're just not meant to be. We're not compatible. So there's a there's a relationship that is not compatible. We have somebody here that has been, you know, afraid to get hurt or something, or afraid to hurt somebody else, or you know, was looking for stability, was looking for something more, but didn't want to didn't want to get cut or didn't want to get hurt so they didn't go after it but now it's like you know I don't care if this hurts I'm doing it anyway I'm gonna do it anyway I understand there's gonna be some pain here involved and I I know that it's time I know and that if you talk about divine timing it's funny it's funny about divine timing that I brought that up it's time it's like it's time I can't I can't do this anymore it's too much it's too heavy it's too burdensome it's too much this is this is overwhelming I think we have somebody that has reached the point of collapse and and, and they can't do it anymore. It's like, I can't, I can't do this anymore. It's just, it's weighed me down so much. So I think that we have somebody here that uh, has been afraid of getting hurt or hurting another person. And they've come to the point where I, I'd rather be alone than be in this relationship where there's so much heaviness. There's so much pressure. And you notice the bee getting burned. It's like, I can't, this hurts. It hurts. It hurts too much for me to be here. It hurts more for me to be here than to be alone. So I think we have somebody that is making the decision to say goodbye. Okay? That's what I see. That is definitely, this is separation. You know, it's funny. You never know how I'm going to lay out the cards. And I just happen to notice the separation. And I think it could be a sudden departure. It could be. It's, it's like the higher power steps in and says, okay. This isn't meant to be. This relationship is over. It's time for you to go your own way. Just do it. Just do it. So, um, one more card for now. I always say one more card. but It's about satisfaction. It's about happiness. It's like, I, I, I want to have it all and this isn't it. This isn't it. This is, this is too much for me. It really is. So this is a new enterprise, starting over, starting from scratch, starting from scratch, um, making a plan to go someplace else. We have somebody here that is uh, getting a new opportunity or they're seeing a new opportunity or they're manifesting a new opportunity. Um, it almost feels like there's something to do with prayers here as well. It's like... Uh, it's like they've heard your prayers and now they're giving you this opportunity. They're giving you this opportunity to go through this new door, to go down this new path. But it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy to to do. Um, the, somebody is, is, and you notice that seed, there's some, and this is about seeds as well, and it's right here. 
somebody is going to be planting their seed someplace else. It's like starting over someplace else. We we have somebody that is about to uh, relocate and go someplace else and start over, start over from scratch. It's like they're, if you think about this one next to this one, this is the whole bush that has already grown. This may have to do with something about seven years ago, maybe nine years ago. But anyway, you notice there's one there and here's the whole bush. And, and so it's like starting over. It's starting over from scratch, okay? So that's what we have. It's like this is, this is, it's overgrown now. It's overgrown. It's, you know, it's time to start over someplace else. So I think that's what we have here. I think we have a fresh start that is happening. It's like, it's time. It's time. And it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be pretty. But I have to let go of this dead weight that has been holding me down. So I think the decision is being made. Okay, and it is time to celebrate. Okay, this is like it's time to celebrate your your freedom, and this is freedom, celebrating freedom, making the decision. You know, it's it's about, you know, being successful and being self sufficient and being capable and be enjoying life without stress. I mean, this person has no stress. Also, I just have went now when I'm looking at this. This independent independent person may have already gotten to this point this person may be getting some sort of offer you know from somebody to get into a relationship okay could be somebody from the past and that might be a little scary because it's like we have somebody here that is a little confused should i do it should i do it should i do it so whether you're getting out of a, of a relationship or getting into one this is should i do it you know, and the answer is yes. So however that resonates with you, the answer is yes. This is an opportunity to start over. I mean, to blossom and, you know, build someplace else. Build it better. Build it bigger. So, um... Now this is this is somebody that is very worthy that that is very valuable. I mean, this is the Empress and the Minor Arcana. It really is. This is somebody who has built themselves up. Or is going to build themselves up by themselves. Now, this is your higher power that could be bringing in, you know, a new relationship to this person. But this person, this is this is a little bit fearful of starting over. It is the Page of Pentacles. You know, this it's kind of it's not easy. It's not easy. It's going to take a lot of work. So I think that we have this independent person is probably getting an opportunity. You know, and maybe a little, uh, you know, apprehensive about it. So that could certainly be the case. We have Taurus. We have uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. We have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius up there. But that is reversed. We have everybody, really. I mean, we have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio up there. Um, every, everybody, we all have these signs in our chart. We really, really do. So that it really doesn't matter. But we do have a higher power that is changing somebody's circumstances. Okay? Somebody has been resisting change with that Wheel of Fortune reversed. But the higher power is involved here. There is a higher power involved. It's like they've heard your prayers. So say you've been in an unhappy relationship and you've been like, I, I want out and I'm really not happy here. They heard that shit. Or if you've been single and they heard you, you know, begging for a relationship, they heard that. Now it's time. It's time. It's funny that I brought up divine timing. So it's time for whatever you wished for. Be prepared to get, be careful what you wish for because you're about to get it. Now this is a card of consequences, the seven of pentacles it is. They heard. Consequences can come in a good or bad way, whatever. They heard. So be prepared for a relationship to change. There is a relationship to change. You know, it could be good news. It could be bad news. But whatever it is, there's an uneasiness about it. Okay? It's not easy. But wherever you've been is not where you're meant to be. Good luck.